I traveled to the Del Rio sector of Texas. That's where I spoke to a woman who shared her story with me. She had been sex trafficked by the cartels starting at the age of 12. That was Republican Senator Katie Britt of Alabama in her rebuttal address to President Biden's State of the Union, linking a graphic account of a young woman's sex trafficking to Biden's immigration policies. And, and saying she couldn't believe that this happened in the United States of America. But the abuse actually happened during President George W. Bush's administration nearly 20 years ago and not in America, in Mexico. She was asked about that yesterday on Fox News. Did you mean to give the impression that this horrible story happened on President Biden's watch? No, Shannon. Look, I very specifically said this is what President Biden did during his first 100 days. Minutes after coming into office, he stopped all deportations. He halted construction of the border wall. But to be clear, the story that you relate is not something that's happened under the Biden administration, that particular person. I'm well, I very, I very clearly said I spoke to a woman who told me about when she was trafficked when she was 12. Charlie, uh, there's nothing clear about it. The entire, the, the, the and I don't, again, I don't li listen. how you walk that back. Listen, I, you, 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 the you stuff happens in politics. Bad speeches are made, you know, and, and it's always better to go out and say, man, I really, I blew that one. And people will forgive you for it. And they'll even like you better for it, for saying, yeah, boy, I, man, I just, wow, was I off on that. And I'm so sorry. And by the way, I told this story and I conflated some, some, some facts and issues and dates. And I'm really sorry for that. But I hope you understand my bigger point is that the Biden administration's policies from day one have been disaster. Like she could have said that. But I, again, I don't know yeah. who's advising her. But to double down after that performance, the wrong thing to do. Own it like Biden is owning his age. Yes, but in MAGA world, you can never apologize, That's right? Correct. Being, um, be, being a Republican these days is never having to say you're, you're sorry. And that was not just misleading. I mean, that was a purposeful lie. And I think that we're seeing this again and again. Look, we, we know that part of the narrative is that uh, Joe Biden is weak on the border. And as a result, we're being subject to all of this migrant crime. So you have Elon Musk over the weekend tweeting out a completely bogus meme about you know illegal immigrants uh, who are committing crimes and Joe Biden is giving them awards. Then you have Katie Britt coming up with this, uh, this gruesome and grisly story that has no relation what whatsoever to what's happening on the border. Now, somebody had to know that. Somebody had to recognize that this was a problem. Um, she goes ahead with it anyway, maybe figuring nobody would figure it out. And then when she's confronted with it, she gives that complete non-denial denial. denial. Look, I think one of the obvious questions is, if in fact this is a terrible, terrible problem, if there are examples of migrant crime, um, then you know why do you have to make up the ones that did not occur? I mean, these are right. realities. This is something that the Biden administration is going to have to deal with. But it is interesting, it would be interesting to know who advised Katie Britt, who advised her on, on, the, on the drama, who advised her on the, the lies to give, uh, because it didn't do her any favors at all. No. You know, it, it's so interesting you said that because, again, that's a question of a couple of, uh, I, a couple of people who know her uh, and, and I were talking this weekend. And we're like, who advised what her? What happened? Like, she, she's, a, again, yeah. she's a very likable person, Charlie. If you just talk to her one-on-one, -on -one, very likable, has, has been very likable, no nonsense. Again, Richard Shelby, uh, worked for Richard Shelby. Yeah. She doesn't come naturally from the MAGA wing, but... Charlie, who advised her? Who told her this was the right thing to do? It's crazy. Well, I have no idea, but I will say that uh, Scarlett Johansson had a much tougher job than you might think, because how do you do a parody of what is a parody itself? I mean, you know, at the top of this hour, right. you played a bit from Katie Britt, and, and, it, and it's hard um, to, to outdo how strange that was, how the overacting. 
And and again, this is maybe it's just the curse of the State of the Union response. It seems like every politician that does it fall flat on their face. But um, yeah, cl clearly this was uh, badly conceived from the beginning. And you know, and it is funny, but this lie about the migrants, I, I, I think, is important because this is going to be a massive theme in 2024. There will be caravans. They will try to uh, take victims and exploit them politically. They done this in the past and they're going to do it. So you can see that these are not just one-off gaffes. This yeah. is part of a narrative that they're trying to craft and she fell flat on her face, um, you know, and on a very, very big stage here. Well, as you said, the crazy thing is, you know, they have these lies before every election, the migrant caravans with people coming up with leprosy and, and, and it never works. Right. Again, they lose every, they tried it in 2018, they lost. They tried it in 2020, they lost. They tried it in 2022, they lost. It's, it's, it is a loser because people understand they're lying. And think about the point Charlie just made. The situation is so horrific and so unspeakably bad mm -hmm. that go. they had to make up, they had to make up a, a story that, that that they attached to Biden instead of telling the truth about it, that it went all the way the back to George W. Bush. The situation is so horrific that they put off an opportunity to deal with it. They killed the Langford bill. Right. That the president offered them. That would have closed the And then the got on national television and lied. Yeah. Lied like a rug.